What's up guys, it's Hoodie. We are back playing Skyrim. This is episode 12. This will be the final episode for the day, which is September 2nd. We have a good experience for the day. We are going to continue working on the house, which it looks like we need to sleep and eat real quick. So let's get that taken care of. Last episode, we went and cleared out Pine Watch. Pine Watch is located just over here it had a ton of bandits and we found some interesting gold after clearing it out i think afterwards we after this we might go and clear out another tomb or something to uh get some more stuff so let's eat some pork or loaf all right let's go ahead and cook some food while we have the chance uh, we've got some beef stew. Okay. Some cabbage potato soup. Uh, do we have anything to make hot food? Ooh, we have a creamy crab bisque. I like crab bisque. Okay, that's all we have. We have a couple other stuff, but we don't need to worry. Uh, we've got plenty of food for now. Let's go ahead and sleep in our bed real quick. So we just need to sleep for probably three hours at most. All right. Oh, I forgot. We get the uh, we get to upgrade our health a little bit. So let's do stamina. Health is at a high percentage right now. We don't need to worry that much about selling prices. We could get our lock picking up. That wouldn't be a bad idea. That's not up enough. Ooh, heavy armor. We need to get this up. All right, 25 armor bonus if all, wearing all heavy armor. Head, chest, feet, and hands. Okay, so that will increase our armor. We'll do that. Uh, we aren't too far away from becoming masters at orcish smithing. So, that's good. Let's go ahead, head on out. And go get some more material to buy. We need to get plenty of material, which wow, we're already at a pretty high carry weight. Mm. Let's go ahead and put some stuff back inside the house real quick. Stuff we don't need. So we got tons of weapons we don't need this right now and we don't need Ooh. and we don't need that so that's some good weight off of us let's go ahead and put this in there which has two pounds of weight we'll put that in there which is four pounds and that which is two we're going to go ahead and get rid of the Torturer's Hood. We're not using it. Uh, we've got not too many potions, so that's not weighing us down. We've got a lot of food, though. Uh, we kind of need the food, so we're going to keep it. We need to keep all of this on us. And do some... Oh, and we've got some books we can put up. Okay, let's go do that. So, over to the books. Great. Alright. Activate bookshelf. Okay. Go over to books. We will put these. Okay. Makes our bookshelf look a little more used at least. I mean, we're not simpletons, right? I mean, we are, but in a different way. Okay, let's get over to Falkreath to get some material that we need. Uh, hopefully those dragon bones are still over here from when I killed that dragon I was talking about last episode that you guys missed out on. Uh, that happened when I was going ahead and finishing 
parts of the house and getting all the way from Falkreath up here because it was a long trek and we were overweight, so we couldn't travel very quickly. That is Pine Watch. We just cleared this place out last episode. We got pretty close to dying. We died one time. We've uh, definitely faced worse battles than that. But it was still a challenge. So. We are going to make a pretty quick and easy travel over to Falkreath. And visit the blacksmith. If he has two... Doesn't have enough stuff. We might have to... See if we can go over to Riverwood. And get some stuff. But he, sh he should have everything we need. Because I don't want to travel all the way back from our house to Riverwood. It's a long trip. Uh, we've got... Looks like some Nordic ruins up here. We will check those out today. That's going to be the final part of this episode. I think this is going to be a longer episode. I planned for an hour. Uh... Hopefully, that dungeon lasts that long. But we're going to do some work on the house. we got to get some iron ingots. Uh, I think we are good on wood still. Alright, so, Laud. Steel's good. Looking to protect yourself? Or deal some damage? Okay, he doesn't have any iron right now. Which kind of sucks. Okay, that's not a problem. Uh, we can sell him that. Sell him this ebony ore. We need that gold ingot. We'll sell one of them. Quicksilver ore, we don't need that. Uh, we don't need some silver ingots either. Go ahead and sell that steel. Okay, so what we're going to do is we are going to wait a full day and he should have more stuff. So we're standing out in the cold, just waiting. Uh, waiting is very useful if you're not playing on survival because you can just wait for as long as you need to save. Uh, I'm pretty sure you save on survival as well when you wait. We are tired, famished, and warming up. So let's go ahead and eat uh, some steamed mud crab legs. Okay, we're still gonna be tired, but that's all right. Steals Hopefully he has Pretty stuff much now. To suit your needs. Yes, 39. Perfect. Okay, we don't need any more of that. We don't need any refined moonstone at the moment. We might end up needing some steel. I think we're good on corundum. We don't need any dwarven. Okay. So let's head back. And it looks like the dragon was not there, which is unfortunate. It already despawned. I was hoping you guys could see the dragon bones. Uh, it's not like you haven't seen them before. You know what they look like. It's just kind of a cool thing to see. Like, oh yeah, I killed that. I believe it's right over here. Yeah. Yeah, I killed it like right here. Um, up here, we killed a Spriggan. It came out when we attacked the dragon. So let's go ahead and get this place discovered. I don't think there's anything in here except another Spriggan. Nope, no Spriggan either. Okay. There is a chest. 2,000 gold, and that's kind of it. Okay. Okay. Quick little detour, didn't take us long. Uh, let's go ahead and get down here and get going. Back to the house and we are gonna finish up the kitchen and possibly build on another wing. We'll see, we will see.
Alright. So, oddly enough, the less that you have to carry, your speed and stamina actually goes up. So, that's why lightweight is uh, preferred by most people. You're able to move a lot faster. You're a little more agile. Your carry weight isn't nearly as high, of course. It's a little loud. Let me move that away a bit. Alright, that sounds better. Okay. So here we are back at the house. Let's get all the supplies we need. Take all. Yeah, yeah, I know. Uh, we need to go ahead and make some iron things, some hinges. We'll need a few of those. Definitely gonna need some iron fittings. And some more nails. Should do the trick for now. Uh, it's going to be a little slow moving. Simply because we have way too much carry weight. Get back over here to the kitchen and finish it up. The house looks nice. I really like this. I've built probably 12 of these through playthroughs so I know exactly where I want things how things look Ooh. okay we need that and we need that but we don't need anything else in here I don't think a hanging rack or two three why not okay now this looks a lot better which you would think the fish would be over here with the rest of this stuff, but it's not. Uh, I believe there's a fish barrel in here somewhere. Yeah, and it already comes with some stuff. So we are gonna put all of our meats into this one. And stuff we aren't needing to carry right now. Uh, we got a catfish. We're gonna store. Uh, store that. Okay, well, that's, uh, that's it. Cool. Let's see if we can make anything baking-wise. I doubt it, because we don't have any milk. We can make some bread, though. Cures 220 points of hunger. It's got a low carry weight, so perfect. All right, that's all we can make. Um, Argonian bloodline. We're going to keep all that here. It just looks good. All right, so we are done with the kitchen. Let's go and sleep. This way our magic bar goes back up. You guys can't see my stamina bar because of where my picture is, but it is currently at zero because of our carry weight. But we will fix that. Alright, sleep. We need to sleep. We might as well just sleep till morning. So let's do 18 hours. Drink. Water's good for you guys. we're hungry again okay so let's go ahead and get some food items food we will eat uh we'll we'll eat that crab stew i want to save that crab bisque i don't know why it's not like it matters Okay, and we will go back and we will go ahead and get rid of these workbenches because we don't need them anymore. <laughs> Anytime now. 
we're gonna drop everything that we don't need back in the chest here. That's not what I meant to click, but that's all right. We'll go ahead and get that going. Uh, we could have an enchantment tower. That'd be nice. Or a greenhouse. That would be handy, too. For cooking and all that. Uh, I don't know. We'll wait. We need to get some exploring in today. Whoa, what did I just do? Okay, well, I messed up. I messed up bad. So we are going to load that last save. Right here. Yes. Alright, because we messed up and we accidentally turned the house back into the main breezeway. Which is just the little house here. And we don't want that. That's uh, very bad because we just used a lot of money and a lot of time building into this house. So, let's be careful and do that again. We are going to remove the house workbench. Okay. No. Remove that. And remove that. Alright. We don't want to click that one. Because it literally puts us back to square one. And just puts us back in the little house. We got all of this work done. We need to keep it going. Alright. So let's drop off all of our supplies. Back into the chest here. All the stuff we don't need. We don't need a butterfly in a jar. I don't know why we still have that. Store that. Store that. Uh, this is a quest item. Okay. Well, we gotta figure out who that goes to. Store, store, store. Alright. So. What did we just store? Uh, store all of those. Store all of that for sure. Uh, we don't need a candlestick. We'll just drop this out in the middle of the woods somewhere. And that. Okay, that dropped us down to 126. And we're still going to be getting rid of some weight. Uh, how many logs? Because we still have 83 logs, so we're doing good. Go ahead and drop all this crap. We'll just put it up here in the middle of the mountain. Nobody's going to see it. We're not littering, guys, I promise. Uh, drop that. Drop. We don't need these. So we're playing with that mod. Make our way down the mountain and over to these stairs. And here we are going to fight three Draugr. And then we're going to go inside and clear out this place. We're kind of taking a break from the main missions. We're just getting distracted for a bit. This is South Shriekwind Bastion. Bastion? Whatever you guys think it is. I think our next mission, we're going to do the In My Time of Need mission, which is where we find a Red Guard woman. She's actually in Bite Run. I know that much. Speak with the leader of the Dawn Guard, the Horner Jorgen Windcaller. We do need to get that back to Arbjorn at some point. We got a skeleton, it looks like. Yeah, no match. Okay, got another chest, 1300 gold, wow. That is the city of Falkreath. It's really pretty up here. 
city looks really good. Creek just kind of stopped. So it should be a lake right here instead of just a little creek, but it still looks good. This is why when Falk Reef is one of my favorite holds. It's just so secluded. It's so peaceful. Anyway, let's get back to the main mission here. Uh, the main goal. I guess not the main mission. We, uh, we're taking a break from that. Just because we are not a high enough level for any of that stuff yet. We got one guy here. Alright. Let's go ahead and heal before we head in. So here we are in Sh South Shriekwind Basin, and it'll put us on the other side from here to here. And we will go ahead and end the video once we get through all of this. Maybe. Ooh. Orcish Great Sword of Reaping. What does that do? Absorb 15 points of stamina. That's pretty good. Okay, we'll keep it. Uh, let's see. There's nothing in here. Go that way. What's up here? A door. To a hallway. path, I guess. Doesn't look like we're missing out on much. I guess we need to go down? There's no other way down but to jump. And that fall will kill us. We must have to go this way. Okay, so we can't go through without possibly catching fire, so we need to be very careful. Dang. We tried. Alright. Carry on up. We'll go through the iron door. We oh, that is a vampire master. We gotta be careful. We can catch a vampirism. And we died. I don't converse with my prey. I don't converse with my prey. Okay, so let's redo that. It looks like we're going to have to fight the vampire in order to get out of here. So let's hurry on through this. We don't need to dilly dally. Rest of the guards say no lollygagging. Okay, guess we don't get the sword now. There we go. Never should have come here. Vampire Thrall. Uh, we do not need to be a vampire. Our our playthrough won't work that way, especially since we're on survival. Uh, we'll have to feed way too much. I personally don't like playing as a vampire. They're annoying. Okay, so we're on a lower level now. Okay. So we're going to skip fighting that master vampire. And just go down here. way we don't have to deal with that guy because 
He will kill us. And I really don't want to get vampirism. So when you become a vampire, you're sensitive to sunlight. Your stamina doesn't regenerate when you're outside in the sun. Your uh, health doesn't regenerate, which it doesn't do that anyway. And your magic is super low. And a lot of the uh, vampirism attacks rely on magic. So, there's that. Uh, let's go back here. I guess we could open that. Oh, it doesn't open? Okay. Cool. Alright, so we are going to get to the bottom of this. Quickly. Whoa. That remote play again. Uh, skeever. I hate skeevers. They give me the heebie jeebies. Eight hundred gold, that's pretty good. We got some poisons. Sure. We can equip a poison to our blade. That will be nice. What was that? I don't know. I'm glad we're not standing there. Must have been nothing. How'd they cast that through a door? Ooh, yeah, we'll need that. Must have been nothing. Okay. It's a regular old thing. Let's heal. She might not let us. Okay, let's get her on that. Up she goes. Oh, we missed. That's okay. Gave us a small break to finish healing. There we go. We got her. Vampire dust. Invisibility. Cool. So now we can make some potions of invisibility. Some dwarven arrows. We don't need them. That will take. And we can leave that behind because we have all the money in the world. All right, we made it out, guys. Right at the 28-minute mark. I was hoping this video would be a little bit longer. Which, we can still make it longer. Let's go ahead and make it longer. So here we are on the outside, in the middle of nowhere. North Shriekwind Basin. Bastard. I already pronounced it. So let's go ahead and go to the marker on the map right ahead of us. It is a um, standing stone. And I believe it's the Lady in the Lake standing stone. Yeah, right over there. Uh, we got some mud crabs. Crab meat and crab legs. You gotta be careful because slaughterfish like to hide in these waters. Oh, shit. Yeah, there we go. Ooh. We got a sunken ship. That's cool. Okay. Um, we gotta be careful because we will eventually start to drown. There's a chest. 1500 gold. Alright, see? See? There it is. We're drowning. <laughs> We gotta be careful with that. So this is the Lady Stone. Health and stamina regenerate more quickly. 
that's pretty good, but it's not as good as the Lover Stone. That's the one I'm really wanting to get. Uh, I cannot remember where it's at for the life of me. But the Lover Stone allows every ability and like every skill to regenerate more quickly. It's not as fast as 20%. I think it's more like 10%. But that'll increase everything. So, you know, it'll go with our warrior damage, our stamina, uh, anything, really. And that is going to be helpful. So we are going to swim over to this fort and we'll clear it out before we end the video. I wanted this video to be a little bit longer. hear a uh, humming it's just my desk fan it's getting a little hot in my room all right uh, where is it I think it's up here all right well not as deep We got a knapsack here with a fisherman's journal, nightingales, fact or fiction. That's that's about it. Nothing else that we can use. So I know there are a lot of mages and conjurers in this place. So I'm gonna go ahead and be prepared. Make sure I have full health. Pull out my magical fishing sword, I guess. say I guess I know what it is it's a fishing pole all right so we got one guy here Heal up again. Uh, we'll let the skeleton come to us. Okay. We need to heal up again. Ooh, they have a danger heart. Nurn root. Clairvoyance. Uh, they got a soul gem. We don't need any more of those. Let's see. We got a human heart. That's kind of creepy. So fire salts and raise zombie. We don't have that magic. Uh, spell tone yet so let's go ahead and heal and as we're moving forward looks like it's just where they prepared everything Back to being warm, so that's good. Oh, we got a door here. Whew. More tired than I thought I was. Ooh, we got a freaking conjurer. No, it's necromancer. Oh, sorry. like yep skeleton all right seal all right we're out of magic but good enough let's go ahead and sleep for an hour so we can level up um, let's do stamina again. Can we upgrade? No. How close are we to... We are one level away. Okay. Um, we haven't done any enchanting, which I really want to work on. Oh, 
let's go back over to lock picking. We need to invest into that a little bit. So we feel rested. We're not hungry. Thank goodness. Come on. Apparently necromancers always use ice. Oh. Skeletons. All right. Uh, we got a soul gem fragment. Some enchanting book. Okay. Potion of magicka. I'm where I need to be. Okay, we can't do that while in combat, so let's heal. Alright. Get our great sword out. Uh, go ahead and take these potions of magic. I don't have anything else in here. I think she's through this door. Oh, so close. Okay. Ha, found you. you say that, but I don't see you. Alright, so we got... Oh, it's filled with a soul, we might as well. Or five points of health. We can disenchant that real quick while we're over here. Uh, where was that? There it is. Okay. So we need to go kill whoever this is real quick before we can come back and do all that. I wasn't trying to. Ooh. Okay. That is really mean. So maybe we can shoot her with bows in here. Oh, okay. We are still going to take damage. No, we don't need that. Uh... Man, she's got a good shot. Alright, let's go ahead and get our bow out. We're going to have to do some distance, damage, from range. Is that the best you can do? Uh, yes, actually. Come on. Oh, now she's coming close. Okay. Not, not good. Not good. <laughs> Going to enjoy killing you. Are you? Really Good. Okay, we need to heal. We need to heal fast. Uh, we are freezing now, and we can't get out of the water. <laughs> yeah, there we go. All right, come on. Get away. Okay, we're safe back here for now. Um, somewhere in warm up. episode. Alright. I like it. I like the intensity. The intensity. we have anything to warm up in here? No. Great. Okay. Uh, let's bring out a torch. That's not doing anything. Okay. Well, 
Let's get our bow back out. I'm gonna do some distance damage on her. It seemed to do some help. But not a lot. She's got a ward. Okay, I'm warming up. I don't know what I'm standing next to. But I'm warming up. got some extra magic right now. Let's see if we can get something over there that will uh, help us. We've got Flame Atronach. That's alright. Um, now maybe we can, uh, you know, because we got to fight these guys up here again. Let's go ahead and get that done. Alright. We got the main chick up here. Creep cluster, pine brush. We got some skeletons. And heal. Shattered into a million pieces, he did. Let's go to our weapons, get our bow out, and see if we can do some distance shots. She's got a lot better aim than I do. Uh, we hit a bandit. Okay, well, that's something, I guess. She is so mean. All right, we need to aim just right. We got a hit. Guys, these ice mages are no joke. So much damage. Ridiculous. It is ridiculous. All right, uh, let's see. So we'll go back to the bow. Uh, 
glitch about kill this. Okay. Well, we're good for now. So, let's go ahead and get this knocked out. Disenchant that. We're going to keep that. Let's enchant. Um, let's just enchant this ring with increased frost resistance. Lesser soul by 3%. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> Didn't do us a lot of good. Um, Orcish bow. We'll do frost damage and just knock it all the way down. Go over to Petty Soldier. Okay, we're not going to worry about naming it because we don't use our bow that often. If we used our bow more, I would want to name it. I mean, we, why don't we name our greatsword? I don't know what we would call it. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Hang on. Let's see if we can get that. That's not going to work again. All right, so we got we got stealth on our side right now. Thank goodness. She's all the way down here. So let's go ahead and get over. Comes back. Do we have any poisons? No potions. No poison. Ooh, we got. Okay, we do have poison. So we have this poison now. We are going to shoot her as soon as she comes back. It's just stamina damage, but it's better than nothing. Oh, they're not random. They're from us uh, shooting them earlier. Ooh, a Dwarven Helmet. Wow. That'll be cool. Okay. Uh, we're not going to wear it, but we'll definitely enchant it and sell it. Okay, crap. Alright, uh... Wow. Okay. Do we have any health potions? We have one health potion. Uh, we've got we got some minor healing, so that's good. Let's go ahead and see if we can get some damage on her. <sighs> I hate ice mages. I hate them. We gotta think of a way to get past that. I mean, our archery isn't nearly high enough for it. And the only thing we use is a dang great sword. Here we go. Whatever. We're not going to worry about any of that. Come on, skeleton. Heal. Okay, and we're gonna go sleep. Level up. You afraid to fight me? No. I'm really not. Can't do this when enemies are nearby. Of course not. So Let's see what's through this door. Okay, never mind. Yeah. I'm actually very afraid. 
afraid for my life. Sure. All right. Uh, pick that potion of magicka. Go ahead. Sleep. Can't do that. Okay. Let's get over here. We're gonna sneak. And try that method again. It seemed to be doing all right. We're almost an hour, guys. Wow. Wow. That is uh, not what I wanted. That's all right. That's all right. Kill you. Right, let's go ahead and see what they got. Alright. They are dead. Where the heck did they go? Is someone there? Oh boy. Okay, uh, not good. And it's just because she's using that stupid ice spike. Uh, let's see if we can knock her over. Do half damage. You take half damage, but do double damage for 60 seconds. Let's go back to our magic powers. Uh, we need to go to shouts. We've been using whirlwind sprint a lot, so we're gonna keep it equipped. That's a door. All right, we made it out. So we are now outside of Inatas Inatas Deep. No, we're not. Yeah, we are. Okay, cool. That's the end of that dungeon. Here's Bogsley. He's a good boy. Don't know if you can see him. He's uh, like right here. He's been a good boy today. Call them bugs. I like to call them bugs. Okay. So, that is going to be the end of the episode, you guys. We have done quite a bit today. Uh, we got an hour long episode in. Just about. Um, we've got a big trip back to our house. So, we are going to call the episode good um i appreciate you guys watching this is going to be the last episode of skyrim until monday on monday i plan on doing three more videos of course per usual uh if you haven't subscribed please do if you don't follow me on twitch or twitter please do i will be making an instagram account today and i will be adding all of that information to my youtube my twitter and my tiktoks I appreciate all you guys do for me. Peace out. Thanks for watching.